This is Rob Adams, uh, Pembroke Town News, with Mark Allegro uh, for Congress. Um, so legislatively, uh, what priorities do you see coming up in the next few years? Yeah, well, I'll give you uh, two different categories, if that's okay. Sure. One is a specific uh, issue, uh, and well, you know, the issue that I think scares most people in the Ninth District is concerns about our sovereignty, meaning the breakdown of our borders and our immigration system. Uh, and that's not only the southern border, but uh, it's also our airports and seaports where people are coming in on visas, they're overstaying their visas. It costs the taxpayers money. It's a drain on our system. It's a stress on our system, our schools and our hospitals. And, uh, of course, all the drugs that flow in across our southern border. Uh, more than half the heroin that comes into this country comes across that southern border. And in the midst of this opiate crisis that we're facing, it's a serious issue. So uh, I think that's the one that has people fired up most at the present. Um, but in the more general sense, you know, for an issue, uh, so to speak, the economy is still in terrible shape, and this affects us all every day. People still can't find jobs in spite of what the unemployment numbers are proposed to be. We know that there's many millions of Americans that have just given up on the workforce. Uh, uh, it's as bad as it's been since the bad old 1970s. So always the economy's up there. Now we face this special issue of the breakdown, really, of our borders, our national sovereignty. But the overriding sense that I get as I go around the, the district is, and sometimes it takes a little prodding to get this out of people, but they sense that their freedoms are going away. They're losing their freedoms. Uh, you know, every time the taxes go up, it takes a little bit of discretionary cash out of your pocket. Every time that happens, it means it's a little less freedom you have on what you want to spend your own money on or when your kids go to school, when they're not getting taught broad subjects that they need to succeed in life, like mathematics and history and, and uh, you know, uh, English. Uh, it's a loss of freedom. Every time your kid goes away to college and is told you're not allowed to say this or that on campus, it's a loss of freedom of speech. And another big issue, well, really hot button issue, is the uh, Second Amendment issue. Um, when the Attorney General can just uh, wave her wand and say all, essentially all black guns that look cool are now going to be illegal to sell in this, uh, in this state, uh, and we know that there's a national push to do that, people recognize that as a threat to their freedom. In terms of a possible Trump's presidency, where do you stand in terms of the uh, Mexican wall? Um, you know, there are a lot of things we can do before we invest in the wall, uh, but if it proves I can go on with a long laundry list of things that we should be doing and used to do but don't do anymore. So first we need to get back to enforcing our own laws. When we assess where we are then, if a wall needs to be built, I'm in favor. Wall is a pretty strong word. An effective barrier is what I like to say. Uh, in some places down there we have a 14-foot fence. Uh, you can scale it in a couple of minutes if you're, you know, anything younger than me. Me it might take three minutes. Uh, but there's no effective barrier down there. And it's not only because the fence itself is ineffective, it's because the way we administer our border security is ineffective. The rules of engagement uh, for our border patrol are ineffective. Uh, the technology is there, but it's not used and it's not being used properly. If it comes time that we need to build a solid and long fence, then and I say we have to build it if we have to build it. So a few years ago we had a uh, Pembroke resident that was essentially arrested for immigration violations, uh, ICE enforcement. Um, where do you stand in terms of the 11 million um, of undocumented workers in America? Is that a priority? Yeah. So um, you are not going to form, um, you know, uh, immigration roundup squads uh, to get these people out of the country. But two things will happen. Uh, as they become visible, uh, like when they commit a misdemeanor violation or when they're caught in being employed by uh, an employee and they shouldn't be, they're ineligible workers, uh, or when they commit a felony, they should be taken off the streets and if not imprisoned, uh, you know, depending on the crime, they should be deported. So you begin with that. And uh, the second thing you do is if you get all your other ducks lined up, like cracking down on employers who hire ineligible workers, illegal aliens, uh, you, send, you deport them, you send them home, and you find those companies. When you start doing that, and the jobs dry up for people who shouldn't be here, and are not here on a proper work visa, 
then you'll find a lot of them will leave anyway. Uh, and you also have to turn off the benefit spigot uh, because that keeps a lot of them in place as well. So, you know, it, does there come a day when we have to go out and seek out people and round them up and send them home? Yeah, I don't think so. We have to, first you do the first five and ten things that are inexpensive, can be done and should be done, and then you see what you need to do next. What message do you have for Pembroke voters? Oh, get involved. I mean, this country stands on the knife's edge. Uh, I never thought I'd be saying this because I'm an optimist and I have friends who are more pessimistic than me and they, they've been telling me we've lost this country now for several years. I don't think we have, but we stand right on the knife's edge. And when I say that, I mean, if you have a Clinton presidency, the Supreme Court is gone. If the Supreme Court is gone, the U.S. Constitution is gone, and this country as we know it is gone. So here's my message to you. Get involved. It's not enough to complain. It's not enough to poke holes in the air with your finger. You've got to get out and do something. I'm not telling everybody to go run for office. This is what I chose to do. But you've got to get involved in our republic, in our democratic republic. Our lack of engagement is what's brought us to where we are today. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And this is Rob Adams from Pembroke News with Mark Allegro.